Today, Governor Lee issued an executive order to enhance school safety after the Uvalde mass shooting that killed 19 children and two teachers. News Force Danielle Jackson spoke with the Metro School District today and a local teacher to get their reaction to the governor's plan. It makes me concerned because I want to be sure that when whoever comes in the building belongs in the building. School safety is on top of mind for so many educators, including Nashville Elementary teacher Deidre Bledsoe Coleman. We had a lockdown drill today. Governor Lee signed an executive order Monday laying out a plan to create safer schools after the Uvalde school shooting. One of the plans is to create a school safety resource and engagement guide for parents to be a part of the safe process and report suspicious activity nearby. But Coleman believes the plan needs more evaluation because so many state districts have security plans already in place. Most parents don't spend time around the school. I'm not sure getting a guide in the parent's hand is going to do that. I'm, not concer I'm concerned about how many mental health personnel can they hire? There is a shortage. We, we are not able to hire enough in our budgets now. The order also tackles mental health needs in addition to requiring every public school to conduct a yearly school safety plan to the Tennessee School Safety Center. For schools, the law looks into plans to enhance building security and safety. MMPS says they review and update security plans on a frequent basis. Since the Uvalde shooting, they've been meeting with Metro PD to go over plans and procedures to see if any updates are required. Coleman says they undergo active shooting trainings often, in which the state would have gotten more insight from those inside of the schools. It's wonderful that he wants to do something. I'm not going to devalue what he's done. But I'm going to say do, it's a knee-jerk reaction, the best way to do policy. For News for Nashville, I'm Danielle Jackson.